Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to my channel. As many of you are aware, there will be an update in the game in the next few weeks. Today I'm going to present you with some sneak peeks. In the next update, there will be an overhaul for the current parachute. Not only the new parachute will have more settings that you could adjust using the sliders, but also the new parachute will have a much more realistic performance. To begin with, you'll be able to see the preview of the deployed parachute in the designer. This will enable us to know about what exactly are we changing in the designer, because apparently, for the current parachute we are altering, the settings completely blind, like the color, the shoot style, and the size. Luckily, this won't happen anymore. As you may notice, there are also more settings for the new parachute. For example, the cord length, parachute height, and radius. Currently, the parachute is incompatible for high-speed applications. It shears off as it deploys, if it doesn't, it will still create an enormous amount of g-force that kills the dummy easily, no matter the shoot size. But thanks to those new settings, the parachute will become extremely versatile. By playing with the sliders, you can make realistic drogue shoots, which could operate at high speeds and give a reasonable amount of deceleration for the craft. A new side base style for the shoot is also added. The current parachute doesn't have any collision response. But as you can see in the video, those two drogue shoots do not interfere with each other. Collision response for the shoot might also be a feature. Furthermore, once you activate the current parachute, it would always deploy no matter what altitude and speed. It could even be deployed in space, which is not realistic. For the new shoot, you could change both the deployment and inflation height, auto cut height and maximum deployment speed. Okay guys, that's all from me. Thanks for watching and I hope you guys enjoyed the video.